All right, welcome back. We got 17 nothing Cleveland right now. It's my uh, pleasure to welcome a pair of Super Bowl champion brothers, Travis and Jason Kelsey. Guys, welcome to the show. Y'all seem to be dressed up right now, but I don't recognize either outfit. You know, uh, Travis, who are you so- supposed to be? Oh, this is my uh, Manny Cass fit here. You got the quarter, you got the khakis, the quarter zip, and then, of course, the... the- Ah. The collared shirt underneath, I, I just felt like I, I, I just I feel it. like I'm supposed to be in this tonight. <laughs> Quite the honor. <laughs> Jason, yesterday before your win, uh, your fellow offensive lineman Lane Johnson dressed up as you for Halloween. Do you feel like this is going to catch on? I mean, a lot of kids out there in Jason Kelsey costumes tonight. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be many uh, kids out there in that outfit, but uh, Lane certainly killed it. Uh, That was uh, one of the highlights before the game yesterday. Uh, Got the locker room really fired up to play the Steelers, to say the least. And Peyton, I don't know if you know this, but that was from a bar in New Jersey called the Ocean Drive. And they actually had a picture of you. Yeah, they got a picture of you in that shirt somewhere. So I you remember, paved the way I, in many ways for us football players. Uh, it was an honor to wear that shirt. One of my friends asked the bar owner, hey, how do I get one of those shirts? Like, nobody gets those shirts. You have to work here for 10 years. Next thing you know, I'm wearing one behind the bar. So that was a real honor. Hey, guys, the two of you made a bunch of news this season. You got a hit new podcast called New Heights. Jason, I'll start with you. What gives you the nerve to think that people actually care what two football players have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think uh, everybody's got a podcast now. So, you know, I feel like uh, we're not really uh, doing anything too crazy. Um, no, yeah, I, we've seen success with a lot of other guys and athletes uh, being able to connect with fans and just have fun. And um, for us, Travis and I have talked about doing this for a long time and really – meeting the right uh, production group, meeting the right uh, company to really do this with has made it really, really easy. And it's been fun, honestly. It's just been fun for Travis and I to continually keep in touch. I don't know what it was like when you guys were playing Peyton and Neon, but for us, you know, in the midst of the season, you got so much going on. Sometimes you end up going months without talking to your brother. So that's probably been the the best part about the whole thing is just having a, a designated time each week to sit down and talk to Trav. It's been it's been great so far. No doubt That's about it. I preferred it if we could go months without talking to okay, Peyton. This show is maybe you have to talk to him a lot more than and see him. I wish I didn't have to see his face permanently on the TV all the time. But you I know, think, uh, the job. I think the Bengals could use uh, Jason on the offensive line tonight to help block some of these uh, these stunts that the Browns are doing. Boys, stay with us. We're going to commercial here. We're, hoping, we're counting on y'all to bring us some more points here, uh, more than Boomer Esiason brought us. So stay with us and uh, <laughs> got some more questions for you guys. All right, welcome back. We still got Travis and Jason Kelsey here, guys. Your, uh, your new podcast, New Heights, the name is in reference to Cleveland Heights, where you grew up in Cleveland. And as a Browns fan, I think I uh, saw some pictures. Y'all used to dress up as Bernie Kosar when y'all were kids. Uh, Travis, I think we got a picture, but uh, what was two questions? What was life like as a Browns fan? And two, do you ever still dress up as Bernie Kosar? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I look about as drunk as half the Browns stadium right now in that picture. Um, but growing up in Cleveland was the best, man. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. A uh, huge sports town that absolutely pours everything into into the the Browns, the Cavs, and now the Guardians. Um, just a, just a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of competitiveness, you know. As, as the as the Cleveland sports, you know, love grows. You know, me and Jason had the uh, the Kelsey uh, sports complex uh, where we were breaking every window and every piece of wood that was in our house, um, and it really kind of no. drove us to to become you know professional athletes or at least had the desire to want to become one for sure. I can totally visualize that for sure. You guys breaking a lot of things. Good throw right there by Jacoby. <laughs> Hey, guys, both your seasons have been incredible so far. Let's talk about both of them tonight. Jason, start with you. Big win over the Steelers yesterday. We had Jalen on week four. He said this was just the beginning. It's now a month later. You still haven't lost. What's working so well for the Eagles this year, Jason? Four down two spots. Hey, Jim, 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 Jim. 
A lot of things, you know. I think, um, you know, started this offseason, we made a lot of really good uh, acquisitions, uh, not just in the draft, but in free agency. Um, and A.J. Brown gets the highlight. But, you know, I, th- I really feel like across the board, we've got great players that fit their roles. Uh, the team is about as complete as I've been on um, since that 2017 season. And, um, you know, I think there's a lot of similarities in that regard. And then, obviously, everybody, you know, we're like plus 13, 14, whatever it is in the turnover differential, and that's going to lead to some wins. And, um, you know, that plus that plus is a, is a big part of Jalen Hurts. Um, not only yeah. has he been such a great playmaker for us, but he's really been an unbelievable game manager at the same time. And to toe that line of, you know, being able to push and be aggressive and try to make plays down the field, but also do so in a controlled and a smart uh, manner, um, it's really been fun to watch him take that next step as a as a quarterback in this league, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to just uh, continuing this thing and uh, watching him grow even more. No doubt. And, and the follow up, you know, Travis, you had the rare treat of getting to attend your brother's game and, and watch them uh, in Philly. Now, tell me the truth. How exciting is it just to watch your brother snap the ball for three hours? Is that is it that fun? <laughs> Well, uh, I, I intend to have a blast doing it. Uh, didn't look like I was having too much fun there because they were already up 30 points in the second quarter. But um, watching Jason play is a little bit different again. than watching a lot of other linemen. He, he plays the game with a little more athleticism, likes to get up on the second level. So it's, it's almost like I'm watching a receiver block. Uh, the entire a tight end block the entire Again, time. Again, not that exciting. Um, I, I mean, a lot of, no one wants to watch a receiver block all day. <laughs> Eli, you trying to tell me you don't like it when you see a guy like James Hudson go in motion and, and absolutely knock out the uh, the outside true. linebacker, kick him out? That's some exciting. That true. I some like electric that. plays I like, I like right that there. Shout out to Jay Hudson, man. I like play action. They <laughs> yeah, need more exactly. play action. Cleveland, I've been calling for it all game. They finally called it. They hit a big play down to the two-yard line. That's what I like. Hey, 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 Travis, perfect time for this question. You guys do unbelievable stuff in the red zone. Browns are on the five right here. They'll probably run the ball, but this is where you guys run all these new plays. I mean, I feel like y'all are getting some of these plays from, you know, high school films, college films. I mean, you took a snap this year. Just talk about where all your ideas come from in the red zone, and what do you like right here for the Browns first? Oh, yeah. I mean, right here, I like uh, I like a little uh, outside zone because they haven't been able to stop that yet for uh, for the Cleveland Browns. I would say, I would say for, for us, though, we, <laughs> and here it goes. Get Kareem Hunt in the end zone, baby. Another east side, east side, Cleveland east sider, man. Um, I would say that in Kansas City, man, we have the, the ultimate coaching staff. The creativity that goes on in that building is so much fun to play with. Um, I get excited every Friday where the red zone install comes in and Coach Reed goes up there and he starts pointing out, this is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do. And it's almost like we're a, a, a show, to like a Vegas show or something like that. Yeah. Like you just, you know you're going to put on – uh, you're going to know you're going to put on a few uh, extra wrinkles or some type of, uh, you know, confusing aspect to the D. We just got to make the defense, you know, react to everything that we're doing instead of oh, yeah. having them dictate things. The fade oh. to Amari Cooper. We Finally, we got one nice. for him. Nice. Hey, Cooper redeemed himself. So well right here. He did. Nothing, nothing better than, than scoring a touchdown after throwing a pick, boys. I'll tell you what. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have you thrown a pick before? Have you thrown an interception, Travis? Eli, are oh, you trying? Yeah. Are you, is this fun? Because I threw it against you, Eli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, you don't remember it? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I wrote you a thank you note after. In I the did. in the Meadowlands, baby. It was one, yeah. it was one, one of my... One of my favorite throws ever. It was uh, Coach Reed installed the play as I had one guy to throw to, and it was Tyreek Hill. And I just I peeked backside, and I was like, he's open. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't supposed to have a read or progression on the play, but man, I'll tell you what, sometimes those football instincts just take over. And uh, yeah, we punted on it. second down, basically. I love it. Stay with us, boys. <laughs> Jason, I want to talk about the Batman mask you had on at the end of the game yesterday. The Sirianni know you bring costumes to every game, and that's, that's an aggressive play. <laughs> There's the mask. This was on every highlight the other day, Jason. I mean, this was in the bag when you went to uh, to the game. 
Yeah, I've had it on the sideline for a little bit, waiting for uh, the right moment to unveil itself. But it felt like Halloween weekend was the perfect moment. Uh, yeah, the Batman have taken over the Philadelphia locker room. Darius Slay started this whole thing off by calling, uh, you know, A.J. Brown, swole Batman, Devontae Smith, fast Batman, and um, uh, or Devontae Smith, skinny Batman, and Quez Watkins, fat Batman. So uh, somehow along the way, Travis asked me if fat Batman needed to make an appearance. And uh, this is fat Batman uh, making an appearance on the side. And then you asked me if, if Nick Sirianni was okay with it. And I didn't know if he was. I didn't get the okay. And I walked past him one point, and he uh, had an <laughs> angry look on his face. And I, I just took it off. I didn't uh, take the uh, time to ask whether he liked it or not. So. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, another one. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Jeez. They're getting some pressure. They're getting, they're getting to Joe Burrow right now. They're teeing off. They know yeah. they're, not, they're not playing the run right now at all. And they're just in a three-point stance, is ready to fire off and get to him. But, you know, Travis, I know this is a lot of fun, you know, seeing you and Jason and just that, that brotherhood you have, how close y'all are to each other. I can tell y'all actually like each other, unlike Peyton and I. But I'm sure <laughs> there comes some times as being brothers, you just kind of have that, that sibling fight. Now, was your relationship, did it ever get a little unhealthy and get a little heated at times? Oh, for sure. I, definitely on my, my behalf because I'm two years younger and, Jason was a wildebeest growing up, so he, he always was, you know, the enforcer in the house. Um, I, would say, uh, I would say Jason tells a great story of our last actual fist fight um, where he, uh, he punched me in the face after playing a game of basketball. And I, uh, I, had, I had finally gotten to the point where I was looking him eye, eye to eye in high school. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I picked him up and I threw him onto the, uh, the kitchen floor and knocked the stove off its uh, hinges and everything. So it was, uh, we got yelled at by mom and almost, uh, almost injured dad in the midst of it all. That's what actually ended up breaking up the fight was uh, we, we, almost, we almost hurt my dad and sent him to the hospital. So that was the end of us fighting. Don't break dad. That was the last one. <laughs> that was the last one. It's all, it's all been friendly competition after that. Defense number 90. Hey, Travis, you guys put up a bunch of points against the 49ers last week, coming off a of bye week. Just talk about what's been so successful for the Chiefs this year. Bonus points if you don't start with the words Patrick Mahomes. Well, you know, Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the National Football <laughs> League, so um, there's always that. Um, on, top of, on top of him playing his best football that he's played in his career, um, our defense is playing absolutely lights out right now. Uh, and uh, on, even more so on top of that, the new faces, everything. When we, when we were having success these past couple of years, we knew exactly who we were going to go to each and every single game, who was going to show up on third down, you know, with Tyreek and, and, uh, and the players that we had. And, but to see guys like Juju Smith-Schuster and Marquez uh, Valdez-Scantling, all these, all these new faces kind of emerge as, as the stars in this offense. Um, it's so much fun, and that just brings new – uh, new energy and like like an electric feel when you come into the building and it's uh it's gonna be fun for these last ten games. Well, guys, stuff. you both you both had the opportunity to play college together, at University of Cincinnati. You know, Jason, what was it like having your brother on the same team as you? I was always hoping that Peyton might you know come to the Giants where he could be my backup quarterback, but it never happened. What was it like being together? <laughs> Well, you know, I, he was on the same team, but we nice never actually pass. got to play with each other because, yeah, he was uh, unfortunately ineligible both of my senior years in high school and in college. So I never actually got to play right when it mattered most. He bailed on me when it mattered you most throw me to under me. The bus on he was on the television, sideline. Jason? That's right. Why That's right. You but, I, why are you ineligible? Why are you ineligible? I need, I need the story here. <laughs> Uh, well, well, in high school, it was a French class. It's easy as going to class, Eli. You know, you got to go in, to class. In, in and, college, um, it was Bourbon Street. There was the a lot Bowl. of bad weather. <laughs> that was right. Kids, you heard it here from Travis Kelsey. Go to class. You could be eligible go to play with your brother. Kids. You don't speak fluent French, Travis? I would have thought you would. Uh, um, yeah, Street? no. No, I'm more of a sign language guy. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Oh, I think it might be a lot. Yeah, I learned that after I failed French, oh. unfortunately. That was close. <laughs> oh, nice, just kick it out of bounds. That's, that always saves it. Hey, yeah. Travis, real quick before we go to the quarter, last year on this show, you revealed to the world you didn't know who you were playing the next week. Jason, I'm going to ask you first. Does Travis know who he's playing in week nine, you think? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. I, I, th- I don't think he has a clue. <laughs> Come on, Travis. There's, there's no way I Give can make the us. same mistake twice, Peyton. I can't make it twice. We got the Tennessee Titans coming into town Adam, on Sunday baby. night, baby. <laughs> Adam, baby. I'm, already, I'm getting him, fired baby. up for that one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Stick with us, boys. We got a few more for you. 25 nothing Browns. Bernie Kozar is happy right now, your hero. He is fired up. Bernie, the cardiac kids, baby. You know what I got to say to all those people that doubted us, to all those people that counted us out, and to everybody who said that we couldn't get it done? What my man Jay and John just said. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, Jason, that was your speech after winning the Super Bowl at the parade in Philly. Are you think you're more famous for that speech or for your play? Oh, 1,000% the speech. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> Philadelphia certainly appreciates offensive line play, but um, that speech is something that uh, walking down the street still to this day people remind me of. So that was, uh, in some ways, I feel like I was possessed by the city. Uh, well, Bob, you know, I don't know if I should be brand specific, but alcohol and the city uh, had both possessed yes. me that night, that day to make that yes. happen. So, yeah, it's a good combo. It's, it's, it's always a good combo. <laughs> First and ten, red zone here. E. This is where he liked Chase. A little way, zone coverage here, Travis. Where's Travis Kelsey down the middle? A little seam route. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh what a catch. Oh, there you there go. Catch there. They're on the board. They're on the board. There you go. What does that one mean, Travis? I haven't seen that. What does that excited. mean? Keep me up to speed. What is that celebration he did? Waving his hand in front of the face oh, match. No. You don't know that one? You said you know, know sign language. Somebody stinks. That's in sign language. You said the sign Somebody language. Somebody stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I passed sign language. I didn't learn too much. I learned the alphabet. That was about it. <laughs> Good concentration there by Boyd. Hey, boys. Right. Can't thank you all enough, man. You guys were awesome. Good luck the rest of the way, man. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Guys, Thanks for having us, guys. Leading leading the so way much fun. For, for the brothers of the NFL, man. So much oh, fun. Time. <laughs> that was the best. Got it, man. Keep it up. I want to be a guest on New Heights. Go. I want to be a guest. Oh, my gosh. Would it be honored? No Thank you. Please. Honored. Not, not Eli, just me, by myself. <laughs>